Hey guys, it's Annie, Creative Cliché. In today's makeup transformation, I'm going to be transforming myself into salad fingers. Let me know if you guys used to watch this show. I was so surprised when I posted this look on Instagram. Like, the attention that I got from it, I was, like, I already said shocked, but, like, I don't know. I was so surprised to see how many people actually used to watch this show because I thought I was, like, one of the only weirdos because this is definitely, like, a really, like, dark internet, like, feels like you shouldn't be watching it, like, creepy show. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Um, subscribe to my channel if you want to. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can also follow me on over, over, over on Instagram. I post it right up here. And yeah, let's just jump into it. All right, guys, so you know that I always start out with a toner. This way, it just keeps my skin hydrated underneath all these paints. I also make sure to wet my brows with that toner before gluing them down. This is literally my best kept secret for gluing your brows down completely flat. If you glue your brows down while they're still a little damp, it just really thins out that glue and spreads it out evenly, coating every single hair. Now I'm just throwing my hair back in a ponytail so that we can add that bald cap. To attach this to your head, you're going to want to use a thin layer of some spirit gum and then follow that using some liquid latex around that seam. And this is just going to give you that smooth transition from your head to the bald cap. Did that make sense? I should have said from your bald cap to your head. I like using black eyeshadow for this because it makes it easier for me to see what I'm doing and I can wipe it away easily if I need to. Um, I see a lot of people using a like white cream pencil instead, but that's just harder for me overall to like get the vision when I'm looking at like white outlines. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Lucky for me, this character's line work is a little shaky, so I don't have to like perfect anything. So, whoa, <laughs> anything? So honestly, like the messier the better kind of for this character. I don't normally like going straight in with paint without outlining first, but his teeth are so small that it would kind of be like wasted time to go in and map every single one out like singly, singly, I don't even know if that's a word, but so I'm just going straight in with some yellow paint just to make them. Then I'm outlining the mouth in red for the gums and I'm filling in the rest of that blank space using black. And all the paints that I'm using, by the way, are from the Mayor on Paradise palette. To give it some depth, I'm adding a few like white spots here and there on the teeth, and then the others I'm sprinkling in like some brown eyeshadow to make them look like a little rotted out. Grabbing some white to fill in his eyes real quick, and then it's onto the base of his skin color. This one was a little tricky because originally I mixed like a dark green and a brown to get this olive shade, but it dried down a lot darker than I wanted it to, so I mixed that color that I originally made with some white, and then I just painted over all of it again. I'm just blacking out his eye hollows there, adding some creasing, and then I'm topping it off using some black eyeshadow on top of that black just to matten it up a little bit. Then we're moving on to his body, which is just like a long sleeve turtleneck type shirt, I think. So I'm mixing um, a turquoise and a dark blue to get this color. The most iconic version of him is hunched over with like one arm showing from the side and it's raised with like one finger pointing up and two fingers pointing down. So that's what I'm going to do. Since I decided that I was going to like hunch my one arm up to like mimic his hunched back look, I needed to rearrange the arm placement on the raised arm. So I'm just gonna grab some makeup remover and I'm just gonna fix that real quick. Then to help pop his body forward, I'm just grabbing some pink paint to fade my body into the background. And now we're moving on to outlining. My pupils just mysteriously appeared, so I'm assuming that my camera died for that, but I'm just adding my eye highlight. 
Now I'm going in and I'm adding a few paper pieces. The character has a pretty thick like outlining around his head, so I'm just gonna make the outlining for the sides um, out of paper since I don't have any like extra space to do that. But I'm just gonna pop those out on the sides and then connect them with paint like on my actual head to make it look like it's just like one thick lining. <laughs> that was like a really rough explanation. Now for the fingers, <laughs> like I said earlier, I'm doing that classic three finger pose. I'm attaching them using some spirit gum and then I'm just plugging up my nose. And that's the finished look guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel. I do post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So you can subscribe if you want to. Did I already say that? But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, stay creative.